to the new body cam video released in the disappearance of Suzanne Morphew, showing police discovering the first evidence in the search for the Colorado mom who went missing on Mother's Day in 2020. Her husband has been charged with her murder. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, joins us now with more on that video. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Robin. Since Suzanne Morphew disappeared on Mother's Day 2020, barely a trace of the mother of two has been found. Not her wallet, not her phone, not her body. And that body cam video shows those first crucial hours of the investigation and the first clues that would eventually lead police to accuse her husband of drugging her, murdering her, and then staging it to look like maybe a mountain lion had killed her. Suzanne! This morning, that newly released body camera footage revealing the crucial first hours of the investigation into the disappearance of Colorado mom, Suzanne Morphew, who went missing back on Mother's Day in 2020. Suzanne? The just released footage was submitted last August as evidence against her husband, Barry Morphew, now charged with first degree murder. As night falls, Barry arrives on the scene and asks about the first piece of evidence authorities found, Suzanne's blue bike. Where is it? Where's the bike? Oh, it's right there. Where was it? It was like just right down here in this little bank. And he even asks if a mountain lion may have gotten her. Is it a crash? The way it was laid, it kind of looked like it, but there's not really that much damage to the bike. Right? Lion? Yeah, it was just like lion. Was no a lion? Mountain lion? Yeah. Investigators offered another theory, that he drugged and murdered her and hid the evidence. You can later hear investigators instructing him not to touch her bicycle. Hey, could you not touch that bike with your hands, please? Earlier in the day, the footage shows a young man who identifies himself as one of Suzanne's daughter's boyfriends meeting an officer in the driveway after arriving at the Morphew's house to look for Suzanne, who investigators say had been having a two year long extramarital affair. Have you looked in the house? For I have, her? yep. Uh, you looked through everything? Yes. You haven't found her? No. The young man says he also searched for the 49-year-old in his car. And when asked if he'd checked a trail nearby, he shares that it would be out of character for her to have gone up there. Well, she hasn't, and I haven't checked there yet because that climb at the beginning is really hard. Someone needs to go there, I think. But that is where Suzanne's bike was found. Later, when investigators ask him about Barry and Suzanne's relationship, he answers hesitantly, looking to his father for approval before speaking. Do Barry and Suzanne get along pretty well? Uh, you can answer honestly. You know, I think I think they've had some problems. Um, Normal husband and wife type deals. So far, the couple's daughters have been supportive of their father seen arriving in court alongside Barry Morphew, who has pleaded not guilty. Now he'll be back in court later this month. It'll be a different courtroom in a different venue, a judge granting a motion to change venue because of all of the pre-trial publicity. Michael. All right, Matt, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.